Yeah, it was really an emotional day today at University Medical Center. This whole process has been kept pretty secret since the moment he collapsed, but it was more of a celebration today for Craig and the team of doctors that worked to save his life. No, I don't remember uh, anything from that whole day, actually. Almost a month to the day since collapsing on the ice before a game, and Roadrunners captain Craig Cunningham addressed the media for the first time. The last thing I remember is playing uh, the weekend before. After going into cardiac arrest, according to his doctors, a return to the ice isn't likely for Cunningham. As of right now, I think that I'm probably done. Cunningham's mother, Heather, has been by his side since the night he collapsed on the ice in front of her. The only reason he survived the original incident was the continued refusal to give up in a seemingly hopeless situation. Even Craig's brilliant doctors realized his resiliency. When I first spoke to him, when he started getting round to it off the ventilator and everything, you know, I said, you're going to have a tough time. He understood and he said, bring it on. <laughs> It was Dr. Zane Kalpi who treated Cunningham with an advanced procedure called ECMO that saved his life. His heart really wasn't beating the first two days. ECMO, the machine that was used to save Cunningham's life, has only been used three other times, ever. We had to decompress his heart. And I think doing that with um, this cannula uh, over here and using it in a novel way to fully decompress his heart to allow function to happen his heart started literally soon after we did that and was only in for five days. And uh, his heart's had full recovery. I can't say enough about the nurses and doctors around here. Um, just the people of the, the city of Tucson. I've been getting cards and stuff in the mail from people that I don't, want to, I don't even know. And Dr. Calpe says it's Craig that's inspiring them. In every sense of the word, it's a privilege to be here because he's here. Hockey is a true team sport, and it took a team effort to save this 26-year-old's life as trainers, firemen, and paramedics performed CPR on Cunningham for over 80 minutes. One can't forget what happened on the ice. So Devon and Matt were amazing, and I think that the fire... Um, uh, the, the Tucson Fire Brigade was phenomenally there. Roadrunners general manager Doug Sotart offered his thanks too. I've never seen anything like this in my life with regards to the teamwork that the doctors at two hospitals have worked together to save a young man's life. These people are nothing short of a gift to mankind and I will remember the gift that they have given me every time I look at my son. So great day there today at the University Medical Center. Now, while it has been reported that Craig will be released by Christmas, but in speaking with Kagan after, Dr. Calpe said he wanted to be more cautious than Cavalier with the process if each day is different. So it's sort of a wait and see process right now. And make sure you head to our website, kagan9.com, to check out our one on one interview with Dr. Zane Calpe, who performed the ECMO procedure on Craig Cunningham. All right.